Hello, sweet soul. So I wanted to come back on and do a Virgo reading. So if you have Virgo placements, if you know a Virgo, um, this message may resonate for you. So let's ask the Holy Spirit, angels and saints, what advice uh, for the greater good of the Virgo that is watching? What do we need to look for? Or what do we need to know? So the first thing that came out is the Ten of Cups, you guys. This is complete emotional fulfillment. And it's uh, paired with the Two of Wands. This is you choosing yourself, choosing a new direction in your life. You could be traveling as well. And it's going to make you really happy. It's going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled. You know, it, they also want to bring up this suffering that you endured. Um, you're going through the healing. You will heal from this, okay? Okay, so they always bring up the past. Virgos, this past player that didn't give you the love that you deserved, um, the divine doesn't want you to worry because you have the Ten of Pentacles in your future coming up. What you don't see is this stable, solid offer that you've been waiting on. It is coming. It's coming. Yeah, so this person um, has been waiting because this person that's coming in to give you this offer had to walk away from things in their life that weren't serving them. Oh, this will be a full length reading, by the way, on YouTube. So you can go watch the full length when I'm done. All right, so yes, you are really having heightened intuition this time. The divine is saying, listen and rely on that intuition because it's gonna really act as a guide I'm sorry, the wind is blowing my blind into my camera. Um, because this is a soulmate that's coming in. Now, you may know this person. This could be a reunion with someone, and I'm not talking about a toxic person. They're not saying this person is a toxic ex. This is someone you may know of. If you don't know them, this is just celebration, okay? So, you take it whichever way it resonates for you. You know, you are learning to leave deceivers in the past, listening to your intuition, and leaving behind people that are not in alignment with you that are only trying to take from you. Um, justice is being served in your life. The scales are being balanced. Um, and this love offer coming in is gonna make you really happy. This is part of the justice that's coming in from this sadness in the past, from you being abandoned, rejected, or left out in the cold, feeling deeply wounded and sorrowful. It is divinely guided, this love offer that's coming in. And it's gonna happen out of the blue, you won't expect it. The tower moment is, but this is a happy tower moment. This is, you know, pretty shocking, but you manifested this. So it's just, I think you just didn't expect your manifestation would finally come into fruition, but it is. You know, they're saying that this past narcissist that you were in a relationship with, that you have taken your power away from, it has given you strength by taking your power away. Sorry, from this person, okay? Um, I heard something and I can't remember what, it, what they're trying to say now, but it's, you have pulled everything away from this person energetically and they will come in and apologize to you because they feel the difference. Disempowered, is that a word, disempowered? That's what I heard, disempowered. Yeah, and you are moving into a time of peace, Virgos. Peace and serenity like you've never had before. And you deserve this, you do. You deserve peace in your life, we all do. You know, this always comes out. This King of Wands, this is who you're, you're gonna be getting this love offer from, this passionate new beginning, is with the King of Wands. This energy is always the King of Wands. It always comes out as the King of Wands. This, I'm gonna say it like I always do, can be a fire sign, but, but it can also be another sign with fire heavy in their chart. Um, this person's very de devoted, independent, uh, loving, spiritual. They want this passionate new beginning with you. Some of you know this person, some of you don't. 
Yeah, they're going to come forward and give you a stable offer. They are. And it'll be out of the blue. And um, you're not going to feel stuck when this offer comes in. I think you are very grounded and you're in a stable place right now and you are setting your boundaries. So you're not going to feel stuck. You, it'll be victorious. The victory card. After a long, hard battle, Virgos, finally victory. When this person comes rushing in, and it is coming in soon, it is a fated union. Is This is a divine union meant to happen. And you've been waiting on this. Look, you've been waiting, patiently waiting, for this twin flame soulmate to come into your life. You've been guarding your heart against everyone because you are protecting it. You don't want to be hurt anymore. But this is a soulmate. Yeah, you're holding on to your resources, time and energy. You really are. You've been in hermit mode. You've really just been focusing on your own um, healing and uh, financial endeavors. You um, really not out there searching for love right now. And that's why it's a shock. This is a stable offer coming in. This can also speak about financial opportunity, financial gain coming in your life, truth and clarity. Truth in regards to your path, your divine path, as well as um, this divine counterpart. This person will put in the work because you won't accept less than that. If this person doesn't give equally, equally you won't accept them. You know, this person needed to make a choice. And let me tell you something, this person, energetically, this person knows you are in your sword energy. So yeah, they're probably a little scared because Virgo, you've been through so much that you're ready to just chop them out, cut them out. You don't have time or tolerance for mind games, for players. You're done, you're done. Yeah, you found balance within yourself. You're not seeking validation or balance from external sources. Wow, I'm really getting this person is obsessed with you, Virgo. Um, this person's obsessed. I'm not getting this is a toxic person. I'm getting this person is obsessed with you. Um, you will get communication. This is a soulmate you've spent many lives with. It is divine love. This person, I think, has gone through an awakening and is just realizing that they love you. And this is causing obsessive thoughts because, um, and this is it only if you know them, because they can't get to you. They don't have the strength or courage yet to step forward, but it's coming. They do want to give equally. They do see you as this beautiful, grounded, driven, independent individual and their divine counterpart. You're coming out as the Queen of Wands to their King of Wands. They do watch you. This is why the devil's here, because they obsessively watch you. They obsessively think about you. So whether you know this person or not, this person knows you. They're so unhappy. This person is so unhappy without you. You know, if you know this person, they didn't accept the love you gave them in the past. And they're filled with a lot of anxiety because of it. They know you are their person and they're ready to fight. They're ready to fight away any competition um, to be with you. They feel foolish because they didn't see you for who you were in the past, if you know this person. If not, if you don't know this person, then this person is just coming through a period in their life where they are finally ready to take this leap of faith. They weren't in the past, but they are now. They're coming out of that period. They know you, there's competition. They know you have options. They do have divine love for you. They want this passionate new beginning, and they want marriage with you. You, they see as the one they could spend with forever. Um, they have had healing, a, a period of healing in their life. Um, from the lessons they needed to learn. Uh, yes, they were at a crossroads and needed to make a decision. Oh my goodness. But now they see perfectly clear you are their wish fulfillment. They wanna speak their truth because you are the empress. There is no other option. You are the empress, the embodiment of all the queens. They will never find anyone that is your equal. 
not ever. Yes, the lady of luxury, man or lady of luxury, standing in her power, proud and confident. Yes, she went through hell, but she picked herself up. She takes care of herself and um, she knows what she wants. This is the end of a cycle, a rebirth. This person wants to have a rebirth with you and this is after a lot of suffering on your end and theirs. A lot of suffering. This new cycle. This person wants to have a new cycle with you. They want to be grounded and stable. They want to be secure for you. And yes, they've healed from a heartbreak just like you. I see positive forward movement and I also see you being their divine counterpart once again. The Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. You know, this person maybe was not in their best energy in their past and they have a lot of um, reg regret and sorrow because you know they weren't exactly what they should have been in their past and now they were learning that lesson they have received their karma and they want to release this burden they want to drop this burden they want to move forward and have the happiness that they deserve with you Virgo so I'm gonna really quick pull a couple from the other deck and see what it says for Virgo Once again, this person is seeing you in your power, standing in your queen of swords energy, not tolerating less than you deserve, standing up for yourself. They are coming out as your divine counterpart, the king of swords. They do see you as a wish fulfillment, their wish fulfillment. They had to make a choice. They've chosen already. Whether they've stepped forward or not, they've made the choice. They, they want a passionate new beginning with you. Like I said, they are standing in their sword energy. Um, they want to speak truth. They want to tell you how they feel. They're going through an awakening. Yeah, I saw that. They're awakened to all the things that they needed to learn and also how they feel about you. Uh-oh. They're finding the strength and courage to come forward. You know, they're taking control back of their life, okay? These are two sevens. Um, this is standing up for themselves and, um, you know, against people that are deceptive in their life, okay? This is things uh, looking up. Yes, they see you as grounded and stable. The Queen of Pentacles. Yes, like I said, they see you as grounded and stable. They know that they um, were in this Five of Swords energy in the past, maybe not being the most upfront, honorable person. But there will be victory, and they do see victory with you. They see you as the High Priestess in your power. This person is receiving spiritual advice from someone that's helping them to make the right decision. Um, you know... They struggle with negative thoughts, with fear, fear of rejection, fear of abandonment. Um, they see you as very passionate, loving, independent. Um, I do see the stable offer coming in that is uh, a renewal in your life, a new beginning for you. This love is going to allow you to drop any sorrow that you've had from past disappointments, from past energies that only took from you and tried to hurt you. This love will heal all of that get one more don't work too hard this always comes up Virgos we like to work a lot just don't work too hard rest when you need to yes that's what I was looking for he is your divine counterpart flip it or switch it masculine or feminine king of wands again to his queen of wands you this person has come to the realization you are their soulmate twin flame however it resonates for you they realize it they just had to get out of their head get out of their ego get rid of the fear of rejection and take that leap of faith oh i should have looked to see they're telling me to look what was the other card after that yeah yeah this is the you know sitting in regret because they feel like they missed an opportunity but you know, everything that they have manifested and they do manifest you is coming to fruition, okay? They're trying to listen to their intuition and move away from the past. 
they do watch you too. I just saw that. Okay, honey. I love you guys. Happy birthday again, Virgo. I hope this reading helped you. Bye-bye.